believe in the blood and we incorporate it and we understand what the Lord has done for us, if we truly get that God is good and there is no darkness found in Him, none, He's incapable of doing anything that's not in your best interest. Incapable. Do you get that? Do you get that He cannot hurt you? That is not in His nature. He is love. And if bad things are happening in your life, it is coming from the enemy. God may be allowing it for a season to grow you up and to teach you to lean on Him and to strengthen you because really what we're here for in this life is to be in a school to learn to love God, to love each other, and to love ourselves. It's all about learning to love. And sitting in your comfortable home, sitting in your nice cars, sitting in your comfortable jobs, in your complacent churches, in your healthy bodies, may not grow your love. And if that's the case, God is going to have to allow a season of the whirlwind in the desert to teach you how to love Him, how to love each other, and how to love yourself. It is not to punish you for anything you've done wrong. It's not to, because He's like your drunken daddy, irresponsible and um, incapable of treating you well or jerking you around, whatever. And I'm not saying you've all had that in your life. Some of you may have good daddies and good mamas. But you know, when we've had bad parents, sometimes that makes us not be able to understand that God's not like our earthly parents. He is love. He is good. He is the perfect parent. And He knows exactly what we need. And one drop of His blood is sufficient for all our needs if we'll just incorporate it. Incorporate it. And believe and we shall be set free. Now Becky talks about how much I do in my life. I don't do it. God does it through me and I just get out of the way. And if I have difficulty with it, it's because I try to do it on my own and I get in God's way. So I really can't take a lot of the credit for what God has done in my life. Now talking about locusts and bugs and sandstorms in the desert and whirlwinds, I've had my share. I was sitting in a 3,000 square foot home up in Enfield, North Carolina on Country Club Road. Uh, drove a Saab, belonged to the country club, uh, fully educated, had a master's degree, two children, and my husband was a big farmer and had an airplane. In the 1980s recession, we lost it all. And that, that's why this recession, you know, it's, it's a recession, so what? It happens every 20 years, it's going to happen, and we're going to come back around. But we were down to uh, Honda with 90,000 miles and our furniture when we moved down here. 